Hi guys and welcome back to Fishing Sim World Pro Tour. The next event up is the Hillingdon Open, but before we do that, let's get ourselves some sponsors sorted. Currently we've got two spots available on our jersey, but at the moment we've only got one sponsor, so let's put that as the main one on each one of the jerseys. Right now that's done, let's get to some fishing. Oh, my favourite, it's carp fishing. Yeah, I find this very relaxing. Hilled in an open, it's in a canal. <laughs> Bit weird. I've got the tackle boxes for the carp sorted already. I've got the silt, the gravel and the weeds. So let's get started. Hello and welcome to the venue for the next event on the tour. While the competitors are getting ready for the action to begin, let's take a look at the... Let's get going then, just pick ourselves a spot. Um, I don't know where the fish right next to the reeds here and the water lilies. Or go back the way we came and fish more in the open water. Ooh. Um, let's just put it down here. I'm very undecided at the moment. We'll just get going. Right, let's get all three rods in the water. We need to catch some carp. You've got two choices I find in this one. You can fish in the silt or above the water lily. So you might do the, the reeds then. It's up to you which one you go for. I think me today, I'll just do the silt. There's a lot more of it to play with. Finally, that's all three rods in the water. Now we just need to be a bit lucky here. Yeah, I'm using tiger nuts on every single rod here. I find that's the best for carp. I do seem to have the most success with it anyway. Sweet corn does work as well, but I find that does attract some of the species, so I just normally stick to the old tiger nuts. If you're going to fish in the reeds, then I use the pop-up tiger nuts. Got the first bite of the day, that's on the rod number two. Yeah, this is why I like carp fishing. None of the worries are the line snapping generally, because they're not fighting like crazy. They just swim from left to right, eventually you'll reel them in. And we're down to second spot already. Somebody's caught. Oh, there's another one. Nearly got this guy, I think. Nope, he's not having it. I thought we had him there. I'm wondering if this is a good size. This might be a 30 pounder. The guy in first spot, he's got 18 pounds on the board already. There we go, we got him at last. Right, let's have a look at him. Nice size. Yep, 28 pounder. I knew it was going to be a biggie. Great start. Let's get the rod back in the water, and what's our lead at the moment? Ten pounds. Really good start. Yeah, the other two lines pretty quiet at the moment. Normally after a few minutes, you're normally catching carp. Oh, there we go. Spoke too soon. Uh, which one is it? Number three, maybe? Yeah, it is. Put the tension up to 35 and just slowly reel this guy in. This 
This guy's moving pretty quick. I'm thinking he's less than 10 pounds, maybe 12 at most. Right, we've got him. Let's have a look. Nice looking fish, not the greatest size. That was a good guess. £8.14. What's that do to the lead now? We've got £37.2 and second spot is £27.12. So we're around £15-ish in the lead. When I'm next to the canal like this, I kind of feel like I need a chair to sit in. <laughs> Maybe a newspaper to read while you wait. And we got another bite. Which one is it? Two. The hook size I'm using on these guys is two, and I think the line is thirty pound ones. Size two for the gravel as well, and the reeds that's got to be a four because that's as big as it goes. I'm thinking this chap's a nice size. Could be a 20 pounder here. And a bit of strain on the old line here. Normally in the canals you see shopping trolleys and bikes and other rubbish. I'm guessing they must have cleaned this one out. I wonder if we'll get any named fish today. It would be good. Right, is this guy going to get caught or what? Second spot really making a dent now. A lead now up to £33. This guy's just not giving up. Come on. Finally caught him. That was well over a minute and a half to reel this guy in. Whoa, it is a monster. What's the weight on this? 39 pound, 8 ounces. Whoa. And it's a named fish. Fantastic. Let's get the rod back in the water and our lead's now a massive 33 pounds. No, you fool, that's wrong. 43 pounds. Yeah, mass, never my strong point. Really happy we're getting that named fish. I don't think I've had one out of here before. If I have to guess, I think if we get over the £100 mark, that should get us the victory. It's just a guess at this stage, mind. But if we can keep reeling them in like we are, we should get close to 150, 200 pounds, maybe. I'm quiet again. Normally, when I'm caught fishing, you reel them one in, and one of the other rods has actually got a bite as well. But today, that's just not happening. I shouldn't complain though. We've still got a good lead and we've caught quite a bit of fish already. There we go, rod three again. We've had absolutely nothing from rod one today. I did check back on the footage and actually took 1 minute 44 seconds to reel in that 39 pound carp. This one he's moving pretty nippy, I'm thinking it's less than 10 pounds. I 
And there we go. It didn't take very long at all. Nice size. Nothing special. Thirteen pounds, bigger than what I thought. Right, let's get the rod back in the water. I want to extend our lead. See if we can get to that two hundred pound mark. Would be really good. It's a lovely day for fishing. Oh, I could just eat a sandwich now. Uh, let's put some tiger nuts in, I think. Try and get a bite on number one. Might just reel that in and put it on another spot as well, actually. This tube thing, sometimes it's really annoying. You guess the right distance and for some reason it just goes miles past it. Ten minutes to go, so we're halfway through, and I will lead sixty-six pounds. It's looking pretty good now. Yeah, I think the guest at a hundred pounds. It's a pretty fair one. One more decent fish that should get us a victory. It's looking a bit quiet again. What are these carp up to? There we go. Every time I see that. And something happens. Right, which one's on a bite here? Nope, not that one. Uh, number three again. How many times have we had a bite on this line today? Moving at a decent pace again, so I think, yeah, we're going to get it around the £10 mark. What we want is nice, slow, sluggish moves, and then we're going to biggin, but not the case this time. Wheeled them in straight away. It's got to be less than ten pounds this one. Twelve pounds three. Pretty decent guess again. That should put us over the hundred pound mark, I think. Yes, it does. Hundred and two pounds. Nice. That should get us the win now. Second spot. They've been on thirty-three for an awful long time. Right, number three's back in the water. Let's just watch number three. That's the only one getting any bites at the moment. Something serious grip with rod one, isn't there? Not a single bite from that today. Is that number three again? It is. Wow. Hmm, this one seems a bit bigger. I'm guessing 15 to 20 here, maybe. He's definitely not Speedy Gonzalez, that's for sure. Second spot finally got past the 33 mark. They're up to 40 pounds now, but our lead's still a mass of 62 pounds. Plus, when we're this guy in, it's going to extend it even more. Don't think we're going to hit 200 pounds today, but hopefully we'll get another 150 mark. I feel like we've had a good day's fishing then. Oh, we've got a bite on another rod. That's more like carp fishing. Multiple bites at the same time. That's where you get the big numbers from. Right, just need to reel this guy in first. What rod's it on anyway? There we go, got him. Oh, it's number one. Wow, that only took 13 minutes or so actually get a bite this is not a bad size at all actually 30 pounds wow nice size we've got a monster lead now 132 pounds we're nearly what we are actually 90 pounds in the lead right let's get on rod number one see what we got Whoa, this thing is really moving. I wonder if this actually is a cop. If it is, it must be pretty small.
for a little guy, he's putting up a bit of a fight here. Is he in? Nope. He's going around, going around again. Oh, second spot's up to 44 pounds now. Is our lead getting precarious? Not in the slightest. Right, finally got this guy reeled in. It is a cop. Wow. I wasn't sure it was going to be there. What sort of size? 18 pounds. Wow, this guy could really swim at that size. Right, let's get number one back in the water. I think we'll put it slightly nearer the lily pads. And we've just hit the 150 pound mark as well. Now this is a good day's fishing. We've got five minutes to go. I don't know if we'll get to 200. We're going to need a couple of decent sized fish here. I think I should have recast rod number one earlier on. Because after 30 minutes, yeah, that was way too long waiting for a bite. But number three, bang and form, we've got another bite again. So we're currently sitting on 150 pounds. We've got a 106 pound lead. Yeah, we've absolutely trounced the opposition today. Get real dim. We've got less than five minutes to go. I want to get another two, maybe three fish if I can. At last, he's given up the ghost. What sort of weight have we got here? This might be a 10, 12 pounder, maybe? That was my guesstimation. Whoa, it is way off. That's 21 pounds. That didn't look it. Never mind, let's get this back in the water as quick as we can. I want more fish. So currently we need another 28 pounds and we'll get to the magic 200 pound mark. I think number two has been quiet. When was the last time we had a bite on that one? Come on, fishies, give us a bite. I only need 28 pounds. We've got three minutes or so to go. Looking at what the opposition's caught, I think that 100 pound mark, yeah, it's probably only about like 70, maybe 80. That's all you need to win this event, but yeah, we've absolutely stomped that. 172. It's gotten really quiet. Come on, fish. You know you want to be caught. Jump onto me line. Normally sticking a line next to the lily pads. You normally get quite a few fish, but very slim pickings on number one today. We've only had one single bite of that. And I think number two, we may had two of that. I'm not really sure. It's not much. And it was a long time ago. The last thing we had off that one. Oh, the clock's ticking down. We're nearly at the two minute mark now. Yeah, we haven't caught anything for quite a while now. I don't think we're going to get 200 pounds today, guys. I feel like a failure. Not really. You may laugh about the 200 pound boat. I just like to set myself a little target in game. I'm thinking that's what I want to catch today if I can. Whether it be size or the weight, whatever. Just keeps it interesting. <laughs> yeah, because we won this event a long time ago. I'm thinking the fish are on their dinner break. They've definitely disappeared. There is a few at the top there. Let's put some tiger nuts in. See if we can get one more bite before the clock's up. Eh, 
into the final minute now. I don't think we're going to catch anything else. These last three or four minutes really slim pickings. I thought we would definitely hit that 200 pound mark. And we've got a bite on number three. We've got 30 seconds to reel them in. I'm not sure if we can do it. We're going to have to be really aggressive in the winding in here. Fifteen to go. Can we get him? Come on. Yeah, I'm just going to reel him in as much as I can. Basically yanking him out of the water here. Get into the net. Come on. No. Three, two, one. Damn it. Oh, I thought I might have gotten him there. Fantastic day's fishing, 172 pounds, and whoa, we got two named fish. I didn't notice that one. When did we get Kea? I have to figure that one out. Look back at the footage. Right, that's 100 points in the Carp Championship, and for the overall championship, we're now well in the lead. We've got 300 points. So if you've enjoyed yourself, please like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, and I'll see you next time for some more Fishing Sim World Pro Tour. Bye, guys.